Well, free little libraries have been popping up all over the country since 2009. The books inside sometimes have only traveled a few blocks to their new owner, but other times they may have traveled from many miles away. But the stories can stay with us forever. Here's Pauline Lee with the story of a Woodbury mother and how her love of free little libraries got her through some of her darkest days. It's, a, it's the best neighborhood. I can't even explain it. It's a source of constant joy in this Woodbury community. And this is it. This is a little library. Her contribution to the free book exchange phenomenon. You know, it's fun to see which books come, come through. And an ode to one of the most magical tales that inspired a new generation of readers. So this is Hogwarts. Imagined by Carissa Bates and her family, built by her father-in-law Brad, mm -hmm. and painted with the help of a family friend. And there's so much texture on there, like with her bricks and stuff. This Harry Potter-themed little free library isn't just for getting lost in the pages of a good book. Yes. To Carissa, it means so much more. You getting it, Anya? You want to put that one in there? Among the classics and the bestsellers, and the many sent in by independent authors from around the country. Brand new books that were donated that are signed. There's the story of the journey these books take, written in Carissa's own words. It's just the fun, it was a fun outlet for me to be creative and not focus on cancer, just focus on something fun. Writing didn't exactly come easy for Carissa. You no, know, writing has never been um, my thing. That is, until her own story took an unexpected turn in 2019, when she was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, a rare and one of the most aggressive forms of the disease. I, of course, thought I was going to die. You're like in shock. Like, it's like a weird feeling. Like, I, it's hard to explain. No words? There's like no words. A therapist by trade, words soon became her own therapy through nearly a year of chemo, a double mastectomy, and a hysterectomy. So I could get my feelings out and kind of work through them while I'm writing. You want to read it, Anya? But it was also her escape. I'll read it, okay. In the form of a new children's book. Let me introduce myself. I'm the traveling book. Pages that chronicle the life of a book in a free little library, traveling to familiar places. Hogwarts. Yep, Hogwarts. And meeting familiar faces. Who is this, Anya? <laughs> That's Anya. Celebrating the joy Little Free Libraries and their traveling books have brought to not only Carissa's family through the good times and the bad, but to many others everywhere. We also put in where each little library is located, what state. Soon after she published it, the book became Amazon's top seller for new releases and among the top 20 for bestsellers. I want it to be a fun book. But she says the best part? Just getting kids interested and excited about reading. They can read the book and then maybe they can go like find a little free library and find a book that they want. And young readers won't have to go far in this neighborhood to find another little free library. There's already one in the works nearby. So I want like a lower one to the ground with like board books for our like five and under so they can actually reach it and dig in themselves. We needed to get to the final dimensions down and then I can go right, I can go right to work on it. So, it, you know, it'll be sometime this summer. A new chapter in Little Free Libraries. Hagrid's Hut's right next to Hogwarts, so it only makes sense. Ensuring new readers can develop their own appreciation for the magic in many years to come. I love sharing my story when people read me. I am happy when I make new friends through my travels and all of my travels have led me to you. How lucky am I? In Woodbury, Pauline Lee, WCCO 4 News. Power of our stories can be amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Carissa and her family are writing another book. This one's called Cancer Mess with the Wrong Family. It should be out just in time for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October.